<laughs> All right, up next, could your employer be putting your 401k money in places that you don't know about? Some hmm. scary facts about your 401k you're going to want to know about. We have an expert investor here to help break it all down. Most of us think of our 401ks as a safe place to invest our money, but according to our next guest, mm -hmm. we all need to find out what our employers and the government may not be telling you before you put another penny into that 401k. All right, we've got an expert here. She is the author of the best-selling book, Bank on It. Great name. Oh, Bank on Yourself. That's the name of the book. <laughs> that would be, either one would be a great name. We'd like to welcome financial security expert Pamela Yellen to our show. Good morning. Okay, so let's talk about what you say are these very, very scary facts. The 401k has more strings attached to it than a puppet, and the joke is on <laughs> us. Uh, there are so many people now, the government is proposing to herd another 80 million people into these plans that most experts already agree are broken. Hmm. And you actually say that certain investments are, are being made without our approval. How does that happen, and can we opt out of that? <laughs> Good question. Actually, what is happening is that many employers are enrolling automatically their employees into their 401ks okay. and then automatically increasing their annual contribution and they have decided that they can correct the mistakes that they perceive that you are making in your 401k with poor investment decisions by automatically moving your mm. money into more aggressive investments. Now the big one that they're moving it into is the higher fee target date fund. These are funds that are supposed to invest more conservatively as you get older, but during the financial crisis, target date funds for people retiring in one year plunged by 26%. Why would they do that? What's, in it What's for advantage them? Yeah, to, yeah. The, to the companies? <laughs> <laughs> Well, they know you do, you do you ask do they have the right to opt, can you opt out? Yes. It typically yes. However, historically they know that most people will not. Yeah. Mm. And be, you do that because you believe that the person in your company making those decisions who typically has little or no training in this yeah, think knows know. more about it than you do. It's the blind leading the blind. You know, Pamela, we're coming up to tax time. So many people took huge hits in their 401k. Is there any benefit to having been kind of bamboozled by all of it? <laughs> I mean, can I get a good write-off because I lost money in it? Will Rogers said that the problem in America isn't what people don't know. It's what they think they know that just ain't so. So we are total suckers for anything that you tell us will allow us to defer our taxes. We love it. We're total fools for it. But let me ask you a question. What direction do you think taxes are going to go over the long no, term? they're only going to go up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, go up and up and up. Right. And anybody who says lower, well, the joke's on you, yeah. right? If you are postponing your taxes and you are successful at growing a nest egg, all you're going to end up doing is paying much higher taxes on a much larger So next pay them now, don't defer. Absolutely. For more right. information on what you should know about your financial security, you should really pick up a copy of this yeah. book. Uh, it's Bank on Yourself, now available in paperback. You can also go to KTLA.com, and we'll make sure to let you know where you can find it. Pamela Yellen, thank you. You've got me a little freaked out. I'm going to look at my 401k as soon as I get off the air. <laughs> Thanks. Very Things much. to do today. Yeah. Yeah. 401k. Let's go to Ginger Chat and see if the traffic is as frightening. Yeah.